It's a trip that, uh, that anyone's uh, trying to get married anymore. Seems like it doesn't work out very often. Stats are very depressing. Right? They say children of divorced parents are three times more likely to get divorced themselves. That's true. And, you know, children of parents who stay together are actually five times more likely <laughs> to silently resent someone until death sets them free. <laughs> My parents are still together to this very day. That is why I'm all fucked up. That's why I ended up getting broken up with, because I can never break up with somebody. I am the worst at breakups. All my friends are like, oh, it's so hard to meet somebody. Bullshit, no, it's easy to meet somebody. It's hard to unmeet somebody, right? Because everyone wants to get into a relationship, but they're a bitch to get out of. You know, they're like beanbag chairs. <laughs> It's hard to know when to pull that trigger, right? Because we're all looking for the perfect person. Deep down inside, you know you're never gonna find perfect. Fine, you come to terms with that, but then the question remains, how much not perfect are you gonna put up with? It's kind of like we're all playing a game of relationship blackjack, right? Trying to get 21. Now you're probably not gonna get 21, so you get 19, you're like, that's pretty good. Stay. If you get 16, and you don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> I just never know how to actually go about the breakup, you know what I mean? Because it just seems, uh, it seems like horrible. I still kind of love the person even if I don't want to be with them anymore. And if you ask someone how to do it, they always give you the same advice. They say, you know what? Just be honest with them. Really? Just be honest? What, what kind of a hateful asshole <laughs> would be honest with someone they're breaking up with? I'm trying to be nice. And you want me to be honest? That's worse than a breakup. That's a roast. <laughs> Might as well sit him down on the couch. You set up a little microphone, sound system, you know, get behind a podium. Like, good evening. Uh, thank you for coming out to this uh, end of the relationship. Uh, I just want to let you know right from the start, uh, it's not you, it's me. Uh, who could be doing way better? <laughs> Uh, your personality is like global warming. It's fucked up, but it's way too late to fix it. <laughs> and my dad doesn't think it ever existed. <laughs> and, did I mention that year you sent, spent studying abroad in Paris? Oh no, that's you who mentioned it all the fucking time. <laughs> Guess what, it's not an omelet, it's an omelet. You're not in Paris, you're in Denise. <laughs> And the only way something interesting could come out of your mouth would be if my dick started listening to NPR. <laughs> In conclusion, your mom's annoying, your poetry sucks, you got a weird little flap on your butthole that creeps me out, <laughs> and your titties look like assassinated sock puppets. So, so anyway, I just hope we can still be friends.